What's going on guys, Steel City Sniper back with another video, and we're here with my yearly NHL best builds video. I've been trying to work on a bunch of builds this year to um, just, I guess, have a better, better range of builds to use. So I've been trying out a bunch of builds. I'm not going to show every single one that's on the screen right now. Some of these I don't think are that great, uh, but some I've been having a lot of success with and having a lot of fun with. Um, I do apologize with my voice. I've been sick all week. I've been congested beyond belief, so I do apologize about that. But getting right in, this sniper build right here is my main one this year. Uh, I'm running 510, 175 with 1T, close quarters, crease crasher, control deking, and quick stick. Um, as you guys know, this year, there are no more speed boosts. Like, you can't get elite edges. You can't get the speed boost for your... Uh, speed or acceleration so builds are kind of different this year on how you want to make them uh, all these abilities that i have are obviously going to help on offense and then the boost with deking and quick stick help with my poke checking or stick checking and my eyes my deking and then you guys can see down below we still got 94 speed 92 acceleration I'm not going to read all these numbers off to you guys. Uh, I'm going to keep it just paused here so you guys can pause the video if you want to see them and just copy down the stats as uh, as you see them. I mean, I might highlight a couple things here. Uh, obviously, you know, the stick checking and body checking isn't going to be great on this build. You're not going to be hitting people. You're not going to be... I mean, 77 stick checking is decent, uh, especially with the boost that, that we put on, but... Don't expect to hit people. Uh, he's a very fast build. Good shot, obviously. You got still good wrist shot accuracy and power. Good slap shot. Uh, good deking. Can win faceoffs too. At 87, it's not maxed out faceoff. But uh, if you don't want the 88 deking, you could put that down and put the rest towards faceoffs if you're playing center. But yeah, this is one of my favorite builds. Honestly, my it's been my main build the whole the whole season. Um, up next is my Playmaker build, 510-175 with third eye, tape to tape, close quarters, and then controlled wrister and power wrister. So on this one, obviously we're getting slightly slower speed, but we still have a good slap shot. We still have a good wrist shot. Uh, you get insane passing, obviously, and then you get... 81 body checking and 80 stick checking. So you're going to be able to stick check really well. And you can still throw the body around when you need to. Uh, you get 87 hand eye, which is really good. And then again, if you don't want 86 deking, if you can live with like 85, 84 deking, you could probably put that face up all the way max to 90. Uh, but again, I'm more of a, per I play wing most of the time. So I don't really care about my face off most, most of the time. But again, it depends on the time I'm playing 6v6 or 3v3. So, that's my Playmaker one. And then, I'm going to figure out which one. I think, the, yeah, this Dangler builds my main Dangler. So, we got 6-1, 170, with close quarters, magnetic, 1T, power wrister, and control deking. Um, honestly, for a Dangler... You guys can see the slap shot and the wrist shot are both mid 80s, like almost mid 80s. Like you can still take a one timer with this with this build, and with the one T ability on, you can make one T slap shots. Um, obviously, you get good speed, you get good puck control, you get good agility. Um, you're gonna get 83 passing, and again, 81 body checking, 80 stick checking. Like you can still hit. And you're still going to be decent on defense with, with your stick. Um, 85 hand eye, obviously a good thing. And then, again, <laughs> do what you will with it. But I have 99 deking on this build. Uh, honestly, that's probably way more than enough. So I could throw that down to like 95, boost my, my face off all the way, and be more than perfectly fine. So, yeah, that's that one. Next is my grinder build. Um, I think this build is slept on a lot. Um, my one buddy plays with this build, and 
he has so many goals because of that big tipper ability. We're running it at 510, 175 with big tipper, close quarters, one T, control deking, and offensive timing. Again, a grinder build shouldn't be able to shoot that well, but the way that we've crafted this build, you're getting 82 slap shot and wrist shot accuracy, and you're getting 82, 83 power. So, like, that's a, still a very good shot for a grinder build. And then you're getting 93 speed, 91 acceleration, 81 body checking, 88 stick checking, boosting that uh, offensive awareness up, obviously. Have a good pass, really good hand eye. And then still 84 deking and 88 face off. Like, this build is honestly probably the one most underrated build in the game. And I think will honestly give you the most success like you will if you put yourself in a position in front of the net you have defenders that can shoot the puck you're gonna tip those shots and with the hand eye on this and the gold big tipper like you're gonna get a lot of goals um we're gonna skip this one here we're gonna skip this one here and the last two that i have are my two i'd name them defensive builds but i promise you guys I have been running these as winger builds, and they have been amazing. So the first one's my offensive defenseman. He's got 5'10", 175 with heat seeker, stick him up, shock and off, booming hits, and angle deking, or agile deking. Uh, obviously really good speed on this build. Like, he's fast. Uh, obviously getting good agility, too. Good endurance. Passing, again, could be a little bit up, but it depends on what you want. I wanted to go put more towards uh, body checking and stick checking again. So we got 83 body checking, 82 stick checking. And then you're not going to be running face-offs at all at this build. So I put that down all the way and boosted my discipline and my deking. And with 87 deking on this build, I mean, <laughs> this build has been a lot of fun. And I think Heat Seeker is another, you know, underrated ability. And, um, same with shock and awe, like with that 87 D King, you're going to be able to make some nice shots with heat seeker combined that are, pfft, yeah, definitely give this build a try. And then the last one that I've been rocking as of, as of recently is my puck moving defenseman. Uh, he's six foot 160, tape to tape, one T close quarters, controlled D King and disciplined IQ. Uh, honestly, it's probably the worst one I've shown you guys off of, like, shooting with only 80 wrist shot and 80 power and then 82 slap shot and 82 power. Like, honestly, it's not that great shooting-wise. And then same thing with stick checking and body checking. Like, it's awful for that, too. But I don't know what, what it is. Being able to play 3v3 with this build and the passing, the passing with this build has been lights out amazing. And just the speed, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, with the 93 deking, you can move that your stick so fast and get so many ghouls easily with this build. So please give this one a try too without fully like, you know, shutting it down just from some of the negatives on it. Because I've had a lot of success with this. I've been putting up four to five goal games. Um and along with like multiple assists because of just how good tape to tape uh gold zone ability is so these are my builds guys i'm sure they're gonna change and update as the season and the year goes on but as of right now this is what i've been rocking with let me know if you guys rock any of them or if you're not let me know your guys build i'm curious on what you guys are using and maybe i'll start a little series where i use your guys builds going forward so um other than that hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys in my next video